is going on guys, it's Yoji. While playing my Magic Find Triple Totem Templar and solo play was great fun, I did not want to be stuck in Dried Lake forever. And while soloing maps was doable, for higher level maps I was too squishy and my damage wasn't all that high either. At the same time, while I was getting great loot from farming bosses, as people started out leveling me, their clear speed went up. And even though maybe I was making twice the loot than they were per run, their clear speed was just twice as fast as mine. To make up for it. So it was time for a change. I respect out of all damage and into life, region, resists and armor to become tanky enough to do high level maps. The passive tree can be found in the video description below. I up my quantity and quality even further to become a full on magic find party play color and started mapping only in groups. And this was where magic find really starts to shine. As a magic find color in a party you have one job and one job only. Last hit as many monsters as you can. You are basically a professional kill stealer and people will love you for doing it. And this is important because when a mob dies the increased rarity and quantity of the player dealing the killing blow is applied to the loot drops. Having two flame totems with faster casting for more hits per second, faster projectiles to cover a larger area and of course culling strike to finish off monsters helps with getting as many killing blows as you can while letting you stay safe and hit multiple monster packs at the same time. Also of course don't forget to link the item rarity gem. If you do not have a 5 link yet, you can use a heart seeker to save a link or free up a link for blood magic to run an additional aura. Now you will not get to cull every monster, as your party will probably clear way too fast for that. Just try to get the killing blow on every rare monster and even more important on every unique monster you can find. Make sure your divination distillate is up when you kill the enemy as the bonus it provides is huge. Now keeping the flask up can be a bit tricky. With the Parandus Blazon belt your distillate lasts about 6 seconds, but it will only last for as long as you have mana or life missing for it to heal, so you have to make sure you use up enough mana or life to keep it up for the killing blow. Now this can become difficult when someone in your party runs a high level clarity or even a Val clarity, but there's a trick you can use to ensure uptime of your magic find flask. You can unreserve the mana of an aura for culling bosses. If your mana region is too high or your mana cost has for some reason become zero. First world problems right here, mana sustain has become too easy so we have to get creative. As auras in party play you use whatever your party needs. You can use a cast when damage taken setup if you want to. And after that you will probably still have gem sockets left over as the build really does not need that many. And during cry is another nice option for some extra regen and defenses. Other than that use whatever you like using. Maybe a ball lightning knockback setup to get stuff off of you. It is important that your party understands that you are helpless on your own. This is especially true for hardcore. If you get left behind alone you have a problem. As you can't really kill anything on your own. And while you are pretty tanky you are not that tanky but at the same time it's also your job to stay with the others so the party can clear the map fast and does not have to wait for anyone. With this group culling setup I have run up to tier 11 maps on around 50 quantity and 420 item rarity. We have been blazing through maps, dropped insane loot, screens full of rares and sometimes up to 10 uniques per map. And let me tell you, you and everyone else in the party will get so much loot and currency, especially once the weasel recipe <laughs> What? Especially once the regal recipe and higher item levels come into play. The loot in fact becomes so much that you might want to switch your loot filter to a more strict one. The filter I am using is made by Neversync and he luckily has a magic find version of it as well. Link in the video description. So use that filter if culling 100 plus quantity maps in a 6 man party or your screen might get a bit cluttered. Especially if you run double boss maps. As the quantity bonus from having more players in a map is multiplicative with your personal quantity stats. And then your item rarity is applied to each item on top of that. So if you want to get your magic finding to the next level, this is how you do it. And if you want to run even higher maps or just be able to run more dangerously rolled maps, you will have to drop a little bit of quantity and rarity on your gear. So you can run for example a Calm's Heart to get your life pool even higher. A Taste of Hate is a great option to mitigate physical damage in high level content. Specking into blood magic makes it harder to use divination distillate as effectively but the life notes behind it will help a lot with getting a high life pool. I'm currently closing in on level 90 just from running maps with parties and culling for them. Once people realize how great running with a magic fine color is, finding a group becomes extremely easy. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did feel free to subscribe or check out my channel for more content like this. I am Yoji and I will see you soon.